Hello everyone. Today's topic is face reading. 看相 In this episode, I'll mainly focus on what is face reading and its use in our life. The next time, I'll tell you how to read a face. Face reading is the interpretation of facial features of the nose, eyes, mouth, and other criteria within one's face, and the conversion of those criteria into predictions for the future. This usually covers one phase of the client's life. And reveals the type of luck associated with a certain age range. The upper region of the face represents youth. The middle region of the face represents middle age, and the lower region of the face represents old age. The ancient art of face reading has been used since the time of Confucius by Chinese doctors as an aid to diagnosis and a way of helping their patients. Close observation of the face afforded them a deep knowledge of the personality of their patients. The Chinese understood the concept that the face represents the energies, health, and fortune of a person, and they wished to live in harmony with this and with the prevailing energies of the five elements, yin and yang, and the seasons. This wisdom has seen a huge resurgence in the West. During the past 20 years, with the growth of acupuncture, Chinese herbal medicine, feng shui, and qi gong, Chinese face reading is as relevant today as it was in the past, and its use is cross-cultural. Our primary intuitions about people's temperaments, feelings, and intentions depend, to a great extent, on what we observe in their faces. We are all instinctive face readers from birth. However, we dramatically increase our personal effectiveness when we can quickly and accurately read every face like a map. Face reading demonstrates how to read the very structure of the face, and its accompanying features reveals the thinking style of its owner. Face reading can also identify the problem-solving preferences, stress level, degree of openness, intimacy requirements, and even the basic truthfulness of a person. Your face is a living record of your life, and like your personality, it is shaped by both inherited factors and your response to life experiences. Whether selling, hiring, negotiating, speaking, or interacting, the ability to discern another's attitude and mindset is a skill we all desperately need. Being a truly gifted communicator is not solely defined by mastery of a verbal style or well-rehearsed techniques. It also requires the ability to immediately read and acknowledge your audience. The availability of the face gives the reader an opportunity to accurately interpret and respond to every interaction. Okay, let's stop here. I guess you've got a brief idea of face reading. 看相 I'm Tiffany. See you next time. Thank、you